Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shelly Perkins, and I am a morning show host along with Bill Bevins at Star 100.9. We work mornings, and unfortunately, Bill couldn't be here with us today, um, and he sends his best regards and best wishes as we kick off the Fill the Boot campaign for MDA. Bill and I are always happy to support the great work that is done by our firefighters, and uh, so I'm very happy to be here with you today in this beautiful atrium because... I don't know who made the decision not to be outdoors. How about you guys? Very appreciative. Let's have a round of applause for that. The last thing you want to see is me dripping with sweat. I promise you that. It is my pleasure to be here today as your host for today's kickoff. On behalf of the Richmond Fire and Emergency Services, Henrico Division of Fire, Chesterfield County Fire and EMS, and Hanover County Fire and EMS, we'd like to welcome all of you and thank you for joining us today as we celebrate a 62-year partnership and officially kick off the 2016 Richmond Metro Area Fill the Boot Campaign for Muscular Dystrophy Association. And we are glad that you are here. Uh, before we get started with some of our speakers, I'd like to introduce some very special guests before we kick off our event. We'd like to start with the city of Richmond Mayor Dwight Jones, the Honorable Dwight Jones. Dwight Jones is here. Thank you for joining us today, Mayor. Keith Andes, retired Captain Richmond Fire Department and President of IAFF Local 995. Keith. Chief Robert Creasy, Fire Chief Richmond Fire and Emergency Services. Chief Tony McDowell, Fire Chief, Henrico Division of Fire. <laughs> Deputy Chief Rick Edinger, Chesterfield County Fire and EMS. <laughs> Chief Jethro Pylon, Fire Chief, Hanover County Fire and EMS. <laughs> and we also have a lot of professional firefighters from Richmond, Henrico, Chesterfield, and Hanover. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your hard work in advance. And I know a staff that is really excited that this time of year comes along, oh, they're, they're very exhausted this time of year, the MDA staff and Goodwill Ambassadors. <laughs> so like I said today, we'll officially kick off the 2016 Fill the Boot campaign for the Richmond Metro area with the shared goals to free kids and adults from the harm of muscular dystrophy, ALS, and related diseases that often take away from everyday freedoms like walking, hugging, playing, and sometimes even breathing. So it's very important, the work that you do, and I thank you for that. At this time, I would like to introduce Keith Andes, retired captain from Richmond Fire and Emergency Services and president of the Richmond Professional Firefighters IAFF Local 995. Keith Andes. Thank you, Shelley. I also want to make one Chip Decker, for Director of Richmond Ambulance and his crew, uh, also thank you for participating too. So. Good afternoon again. Thank you for joining us this afternoon as we celebrate the 62-year partnership. The purpose of today's event is to draw attention to the hard work and determination of firefighters across the region as they rally to support children and adults living with neuromuscular disease. Firefighters have fueled MDA's mission to assist families with life-saving help. They fund research to find treatments and cures, advocate for individuals and families affected by muscle disease, and rally communities to fight back. Firefighters de dedicated countless, dedicate countless hours every year at MDA summer camp where thousands of children with muscle disease experience a week of barrier-free fun while gaining confidence and independence. We are proud to stand together and continue to be part of this long-standing tradition. Before we go on, I want to share a little history. IFF support for MDA began in 1954 when the organization committed by proclamation to support MDA until a cure is found for all neuromuscular diseases. It, its commitment has remained strong to this day as it fuels MDA's mission to find treatments and cures for muscle debilitating diseases that weaken muscle strength and mobility. Since its beginning in 1954, the IFF has raised $583 million for MDA. Now is an exciting time 
in the neuromuscular disease community. Thanks in part to participating firefighters and the Richmond metropolitan community, we anticipate more new treatments and development during the next five years than in the previous five decades combined. With the fill of boot dollars we raised together this year, MDA will be able to save and improve the lives of families right here in Central Virginia by, by providing them with life-enhancing resources and support. Fill the Boot is, honored, is an honored tradition for both the IFF and MDA, and as you've heard here today, it plays an important role in advancing MDA's mission. Now let me introduce someone who can tell who stapled this. You firsthand about the help and hope Fill the Boot contributions bring. I'd like to welcome our MDA Goodwill Ambassador, Caroline Pennell. Please give a big heartfelt welcome to Caroline. Hey, um, I had this nice speech written on my phone and I realized it's probably not a good idea to read from your phone. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of do it off the cuff. Um, Throughout the years, um, as I've gotten older, I've really realized the importance of time. And so often I think that we feel there's just not enough time in the day. And with that said, it truly amazes me that firefighters all over the country have religiously dedicated their time and efforts to this cause. Um, many of them do not have a direct tie to the disease itself, but they still honor us and put their free time on hold to go out and collect money for this disease and research and camps and so many different things that MDA provides for us. And from the bottom of my heart, I really can't say thank you enough. So for spending time in the heat and everything else that you guys do, um, dealing with fire and all that to go out and hold a boot for us. It really means a lot to the NDA families. So thank you. Thank you, Caroline. It's always great when you can put a face on a cause, isn't it? And uh, having Caroline share her story is always very powerful and hopefully will inspire you to get out there and raise even more. The commitment of our local area professional firefighters has not gone unnoticed. In fact, our next distinguished guest is Mayor Dwight Jones, who's going to share a special announcement. Mayor? Well, good afternoon, everybody. Let's give Caroline another round of applause. That was great. I want to thank all of those who are here today to help us bring attention to uh, this campaign. And I'm here today to try to bring more attention to the importance of a community coming together and trying to find uh, cures and to find uh, ways to eliminate this very difficult uh, disease. You know, our community is best when we work together. And our community is best when we're doing things for other people. And I've got to mention the selfless uh, contribution that our firefighters and our service representatives make today. And every day, they're out there helping us every day. They're out there uh, making sure that we're safe fighting fires, the ambulance authority responding to emergencies. And I think that they do a tremendous job and we really don't thank them enough for what they do. So let's give a big round of applause to all of our emergency responders. And from the bottom of our hearts, we really do appreciate all that you do. The second thing I wanted to do was to legitimize the fact that there are going to be some guys out there with boots in the medians asking for money. And so the first thing that's going to happen are people are going to be calling the mayor's office saying, is this authentic? Is this something we should be contributing to? So I, we have one news station here. Let's get the word out that this is legitimate. You can contribute. You should contribute. We want you to give as much as you possibly can. I understand that almost $800,000 has been raised over the last how many years? 18 years. Eight. 
over the last 18 years, we need to get that up over a million dollars. You think we can do that? That means that we have to really dig deep and give a lot of money. Uh, and uh, I hope that people, as they uh, see the people coming to them with the boots, will dig deep and give something, especially to uh, make sure that we show up in this particular effort. I'm also, finally, uh, happy to see the collaboration through the region. Uh, we have representatives here from Henrico, Chesterfield, and Henrico, Henrico, Chesterfield, and Han Hanover, and also our ambulance authority. And so when everybody tells you that we don't get along as a region, say, no, I was downtown in Richmond the other day, and they were all there together, and we work together all the time getting good things done. So we are grateful for a great RVA region that works together and collaborates. And so, yeah. and so with that being said, I have a proclamation that I want to read. I think I'm supposed to give it to Chief Creasy. Come on, Chief. All right, okay, I got the proclamation. I just needed somebody to give it to. So the Richmond Professional Firefighters Local 995 exemplifies the American time ordered ideals of public service and sacrifice. You wanna come up Keith too? <laughs> okay, I didn't know what it said, there you go. The Richmond Professional Firefighters Local 995 members are highly trained and dedicated individuals who demonstrate daily an extraordinary caliber of character and courage in the face of danger and they selflessly donate their time and energy fighting for kids and adults with muscular dystrophy and related life-threatening diseases that severely limit muscle, muscle strength and mobility by filling the boot each year for the MDA. During the past 18 years, Richmond professional firefighters have raised more than $877,000 for MDA through the annual Fill the Boot campaign and the endless service to MDA has given so much hope for families fighting life-threatening muscle diseases. Now, therefore, I, Dwight Jones, Mayor of the City of Richmond, do hereby proclaim August 2016 as Fill the Boot Month. So let's give some money and let's fill the boot. Thank you very much. I love a proclamation. Puts the official stamp on it. Let's raise some money. Now we want to share with, some information with you on why we are here and why the Fill the Boot campaign means so much to the families that MDA serves. I'd like to introduce our next guest, Danette Hodges. Danette is the Area Director of the MDA Greater Virginia Office, and Danette will share some information with you about the services provided by MDA. Well, good afternoon and thank you again for being here. One of the most extraordinary services offered by MDA is our clinical services program, which includes a nationwide network of more than 150 state-of-the-art care centers, including 43 that specialize in ALS care. We have two state-of-the-art care centers right here in Richmond at VCU Health Systems Children's Hospital and the VCU Care Center at Reynolds Crossing. Other services MDA provides include support groups, assisting with other medical equipment, as well as online support at our MDA website at www.mda.org. Check it out and discover ways that you can become involved and help the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Funds raised during the Fill the Boot campaign will also support cutting edge research and seek world treatments for over 40 muscle diseases. If you ask the young people here today what their favorite activity is sponsored by MDA, they'll tell you it's the MDA summer camp. For thousands of kids affected by muscle disease, MDA provides a barrier free week of fun while gaining confidence and independence at camp. The kids enjoy safe activities that are designed for their abilities, from swimming to horseback riding, arts and crafts. It's a special place where there are no barriers and kids have fun. 2015 marked the 60th anniversary of our MDA summer camp, 
and I know the campers, counselors, and medical staff who attend camp, past and present, will tell you it's a transformative experience full of awesome adventure where kids gain self-confidence, build strength, and gain independence. We're proud that the proceeds from the Fill the Boot campaign will help support MBA Summer Camp for Kids at the Airfield 4-H Conference Center in Wakefield, Virginia. I invite you to visit our website and figure out ways that you can become involved with our organization. Shelley? Thank you, Danette. It's important for you to realize and recognize uh, that the work you do for Fill the Boot Campaign helps children in our area. 100% of the money raised in our community stays in our community to help support families in our community right here in Central Virginia who live with neuromuscular disease. And whether that's uh, the patient or their families, everyone is affected by this. And like Danette was just talking about, the camps really are transforming for these kids, giving them a chance to feel like they're having a normal life, even if it is for a short period of time. Now we do have a few announcements to make before we bring this great event to a close and let you get on to the, enjoy the rest of your steamy day. First, I'd like to acknowledge some wonderful folks in attendance today, heroes. All of them are heroes. Let's hear it for our fire chiefs and our firefighters in attendance today. Thank you very much. Not only for your service with MBA, but your service every single day. We know that you put your lives in jeopardy every day. Don't forget to come out and see these heroes in action. You will see them on street corners, at garage sales, at 7-Eleven, social events, sidewalks, and of course, at the local fire stations. And you are encouraged to contribute to this time-honored tradition. Special thanks to our guest speakers who touched our hearts with their compelling words as always. We'd like to thank the MDA staff who contributed their time and energy to help our event be successful and memorable. Thanks, all of you are just the best. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fill the Boot funds help fuel MDA efforts to find research breakthroughs across diseases to care for kids and adults from day one and to empower families in Central Virginia with services and support. So here's to making 2016 the most successful year yet. The mayor has thrown down the gauntlet and we want to get to $1 million in our 62nd year. Speaking of the mayor, I'd like to ask him to come back up to the podium for one more final announcement. Mayor? Okay, I didn't know what my announcement was, but where's the boot? Let's go. Okay, so I get to make the first contribution to fill the boot, and there's my money. And anybody else who wants to follow my lead, come on and do it. Y'all got your money? <laughs> The mayor's up here asking them, you got your money? <laughs> come on, come on. All right, fire chiefs. You gave it to us. <laughs> All right, if you guys could all stand right here for a moment, we'll take a quick shot of this great group of men. Come on, Shelly. No, just you. Look there with them. All the fire chiefs. Thank you, Mayor Jones, for your generosity and your support of the Fill the Boot campaign. And like the mayor, you are challenged to be a champion. And if anybody else wants to come on up and fill this boot, now would be a great time to do that. If not today, then make sure you are looking for your firefighters. Again, I'm Shelly Perkins from Star 100.9. It's been my honor to be with you here today. Thank you for involving me in this great campaign. And uh, we would say thank you and good afternoon.